Now that's a cool scale. I'm Phil and I'm excited to be teaching you in this session about the melodic minor scale. Maybe you noticed when I demoed it just now, this scale is unique. In fact, it's the only scale that really changes whether you're moving up through the scale or down through the scale. When we're ascending, there are certain notes in the scale. When we're descending, some of those notes change. So this scale could be thought of as kind of a hybrid scale. There's really two types of scales that are kind of overlaid. And depending on the context in the music, we might do one version or the other. Now I'm gonna get into the detail of all of the different melodic minor scales in the lessons to come. But in this video, I wanted to give you an overview to give you a sense of how the scale looks and sounds, some of the defining points of the scale. So let's take an overview look at the melodic minor scale. Now let's simplify things here. We'll keep it to one octave. When we move up through the scale, it looks like this. When we move down through the scale, So the change happens in the 6th and 7th notes of the scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now in this key, the key of A melodic minor, the 6th and the 7th become F sharp and G sharp. In any melodic minor scale, we are raising the 6th. And we're raising the 7th. However, when we descend through the scale, we're going to make the 6th and the 7th normal again. The first half of the scale does not change. Isn't that interesting? It's almost like on the way up, there's more hope. It's a little bit more major, you might think. But on the way down, we're kind of exhaling a bit more, and it's a bit more minor from the top down. So that's a bit of the melodic minor scale. It's really interesting in my opinion. Now because of the uniqueness of the scale, we don't often see music that really strongly highlights this scale, or really pulls from this scale for its melodic or harmonic content. We see some, and I'm going to show you a couple examples now, but this is a bit more of a rare one because of the unique nature of the scale. So let's look at a couple examples where we do see it. First, we can look at a beautiful piece known as Green Sleeves. So let's break this down. It may not be obvious right away because we're not doing a pure ascending scale and a pure descending scale. Instead, we're seeing fragments of this scale in the melody, in the right hand. So let me break it down. Here we are. There's our first example of a sixth degree in the scale. And it happens to be an F natural here, a natural sixth, which means we might find that when we're descending through the scale, if we're playing it up and down straight. But here, really, in a melody like this, we're going to see different versions of the sixth and the seventh. And that is our clue that we're working with the melodic minor scale. Natural sixth. Natural seventh. Here's our root, right? There's the natural seven. So we have a natural six and a natural seventh so far. But then we have a raised seventh. Okay, so we're seeing mixture of these two different versions of the minor scale. We see some natural, we see some raised sevenths. Let's keep going back to natural 6 and 7th, but then here at the end of the phrase, that little turn at the end is a natural 6th that has been raised. Now it's a raised 6th. A natural 7th that has been raised. So again, in this beautiful piece, we see 
a bit of going back and forth between natural sixths and sevenths and raised sixths and sevenths. And that is the perfect example of the melodic minor scale. Now, is it only in traditional music like that, from the days of yore, if you will, like green sleeves? Well, no, we also see it in other places as well. Again, it is more rare, but we could look at an example like the Beatles yesterday, another great example of borrowing between natural sixth and seventh and switching between raised sixth and sevenths. So we're gonna find that stuff if we dig deep. And in fact, that's what I'd like to do now. Let's dig deeper into this scale. What I mean by that is let's start getting into the nitty gritty, the details. I wanna teach you how to do this across keys, not just the A melodic minor scale, but we're also gonna be looking at the D melodic minor scale, E melodic minor scale, C melodic minor, G melodic minor. We're gonna be getting into all of this stuff. I'm gonna be walking you through it in detail, one hand at a time, one note, one finger at a time, and then we're gonna build from there. So when you're ready to get started, go ahead and move on to the next segment, and let's dig in.